As earnings season begins, the consensus forecast is, to put it mildly, tepid for U.S. corporate profit growth. But our next guest is a little more bullish than the crowd. He's Jonathan Golub, Chief Investment Strategist at UBS. Jonathan, always great to see you. Hey, Tyler. You're a little more bullish, but it is a qualified bullishness, as I understand. Yeah, I mean, to say that you have 2.5% earnings growth expectations, which is our call for this quarter, is, is bullish, is really hard to make the case for. And if you look at how you even got there, it's buybacks and losses that were a year ago at the banks made their prior year look even worse. But uh, short of that, you're basically talking about zero growth this quarter. So if there is zero growth this quarter, what do you see down uh, for the rest of the year? Um, you know, our full year expectations, you have three and a half to four percent earnings growth for the whole year. That's roughly in line with what other strategists are thinking. Analysts are always a little bit too optimistic on the, you know, on the out quarters. So I expect their estimates to come in, you know, as the year progresses along. So if, uh, if that's the level of earnings growth that you're looking forward to, uh, what's the level of stock market price growth that you're willing to bake into your forecast? Yeah, Tyler, you know, you and I have had this conversation. Why am I, you know, not optimistic right now about the market? You have a market that's up over 15 percent since mid-November, and yet you're looking at earnings growth in the low to mid single digits is a really big disconnect. So I think unless you get better earnings than are being forecast right now, very hard for this rally to continue. So, so why are stocks up as much as they are? Is it all uh, the monetary stimulus that's uh, come in? Printing press is running. And, and also, I think that, you know, at the end of the year, we got over the fiscal cliff. We got over the debt ceiling issues. And, you know, the world, you know, continued to operate and people are feeling pretty good about that. But short of that and the money printing, I, there's really not a lot of great news in the economic, you know, in, in the earnings uh, front. So are world. you looking for a sizable correction? If you say that the, that the stock rally can't really continue or go right. that much higher from here, are you looking for a, a treading water kind of scenario or a decline and then a return? What? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard to know whether this is a, a fizzle or, or whether it's a pullback. But the more important thing is if you have three, four percent earnings growth. I just don't see how you could possibly get the market to continue the pace of the run that you've had so far. And, and if you look at what's running, it's the most defensive sectors. They're defensive sectors. sectors. It's right. healthcare. It's telecom. It's other things. It, like it's that. That, and matter of fact, the earnings expectation, why are those sectors outperforming? Because those are the ones that are expected to actually deliver earnings. The cyclical things, the, the industrial sector, the tech sector, the energy sector are expected to have year-over-year -year declines in earning. That's not really a good thing for the market. All right. So make me some money here. From this point forward through the end of the year, Year, what right. sector do you think can outperform what you seem to be saying is going to be a relatively flattish market? Right. Okay. So we have to differentiate between this earnings season and stock price movement. But I like the consumer sectors. I think it's going to be a little bit of a rough earnings season because of this tax increase that we had. But I think the consumer holds up better than people think. Um, I also like health care, especially in the back half of the year. As we go into Obamacare, I think the stocks are going to rally. Jonathan Golub, thank you very much. Always great to be with you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming out.